I'm creating a series of videos about how to love yourself. And the reason why is until a couple of years ago, I didn't realize that I had an issue with truly loving myself. And once I recognized the problem, I knew that I had to do something about it. And the reason why is because it wasn't fair to myself. A lot of Christians feel like that it's not important to love yourself, but it is. In order to have a good relationship with your spouse, with your children, as a friend, you have to love yourself. And not only that, I knew that I would not be able to truly live my life to the fullest and actually do what God has called me to do until I learned how to love myself. In the Bible, it talks about how that we should love our neighbor as ourselves. And so it is important to God that we love ourselves. So if you haven't watched my previous videos about how to love yourself, if you watch this video, make sure you go back and watch those too. Tip number one, fix yourself up. It's important for you to fix yourself up on a daily basis, whether you are married or single. And the reason why is because it will help you to feel better about yourself. It will even help your mood because if you like to walk around in your pajamas all day and you don't comb your hair and you don't groom yourself, it's going to make you feel sluggish. It's not going to make you feel good about yourself. You don't have to put on a face full of makeup in order to feel good about yourself. I still groom myself on a daily basis and I think it's very important to do it for yourself. It will help you to feel positive about yourself. I'm at home, I would say 85% of the time. So a lot of days I don't go anywhere, but I still fix myself up like I'm getting ready to go somewhere. No, I don't walk around with heels on, but I wear comfortable, attractive clothing. Just by fixing yourself up, it will help you to feel better about yourself. Tip number two, take a bubble bath. Now, you guys, I love to take bubble baths. And the reason why is because it's like once you get into a tub full of hot water, it just relaxes you and it makes you feel good. And sometimes I even light a candle and I just like to sit in the tub for like 25 or 30 minutes and just relax, listen to some soft music. If you like reading, bring a book. Helps you to relax. Tip number three, plan a date by yourself. Have you ever went on a date by yourself? I didn't go on a date by myself. And the reason why is because I've been married the majority of my life and I also have had children. So I'm used of when I go somewhere, going somewhere with my children or my husband. But a couple of months ago, I decided to do something different. I went to a nice restaurant by myself and it felt good. I was able to just sit there and eat my food and just think and even just write down and plan some things that I needed to do for that week. And I'm going to make myself do it again soon. You don't have to have anyone with you to eat dinner with, to enjoy yourself. If you haven't took yourself out on a date yet, I would love it if you would try it and then tell me about it. Tip number four, take up for yourself. You may think that taking up for yourself is not important, but it is important. I believe everything that's in the Bible and one of the main things that I set out to do on a daily basis, and that is treating my neighbor the way that I want to be treated. I am good at being kind to people, but I don't take up for myself and I needed to start it taking up for myself. And the reason why is because when you don't take up for yourself, you are telling yourself self-consciously that you're not important. And that's not true because you are important. So you need to take up for yourself. If someone said something to you 
that offended you or if someone treated you badly, you need to let that person know. Because when you don't, the same incident will keep happening over and over again. So you do need to take up for yourself. If you don't like something, then you need to say it. I have a question for you. Do you have an issue with any of the four tips that I mentioned? If so, share it below. If you like my message and you want to support me, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you will be notified. I have a Facebook group called Chats with Flow, and it's for Christian women. The main focus is self-development. If you are into improving yourself, you need to join my Facebook group. I would love to have you. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to stay tuned for the next upload of How to Love Yourself.